Hi, I'm Dr. Sean McSan. Today we're just going to have a quick look at the big picture. In particular, when we're talking about mathematical models. So, what you have in general is something that you're interested in. Now this is if you're looking at it from from an applied mathematical standpoint. As a pure mathematician you're just interested in the maths. But often people are interested in studying a particular system which I call reality here. So in economics it would be economic systems. In physics it might be cosmology, if looking at stars and galaxies. If you're a cosmologist it could be looking at the nature of matter if you're in solid state physics for example. So you then focus on the thing that you're interested in and try and pick out a description of the kind of thing you're interested in. So if you're talking about financial maths you might be looking at stock markets, you might be looking at bond prices, you might be looking at share prices. So then you would look at maybe historical data. So say you're looking at shares, you look at loads of the data and go well essentially share prices behave like this. Essentially you know share prices well they'll kind of go up over time with inflation most things go up in time but if the company is doing well it should be growing so then the share price should also increase so then gradually the basic picture of a share price being the discounted price of future earnings emerges there you go why is a share worth money well because over its lifetime I expect it to generate this amount of money which it will then pay me as dividends since some of the money that a company makes often is given back to the shareholder who is at the end of the day an investor it's their money that made the company possible so you would look at the company and go okay it is making a million dollars this year or I expect it to we expect it actually to keep growing over the next several years as it, it grows in these mar markets so in the next few years it, this company will grow its revenue from 1 million a year to 1.8 million so you just write down maybe in a spreadsheet what the expected earnings are or perhaps more importantly the expected profits are because you can generate a million in revenue but if you had to spend two million in order to get those sales that's not you know actual profit so you look at the money made or what you expect your best guess over the next maybe five years after that you really don't have that much clarity because the world changes so in this way you gradually build up these models these pictures which are useful but in the share picture there you know once you if you expect this company to make this amount of money over the next five years you can then treat that like a bond and discount that future earnings from various different years over the next say five years add them all up 
and you go, okay, I expect this company to be worth this amount. Treating the share just like a bond, just based on how much money is this investment going to generate. So once you have a model, a model like I will discount uh, future earnings to generate that's going to be my value for a share then you figure out the maths you go well how do I actually calculate that can someone write that in a computer program so I just click and it gives me the answer and that's the kind of systems that we have but you you know they're different layers the models only capture a certain aspect of reality they are simplifications and that should always be kept in mind so in general you have this picture of systems you can call it reality or place in whatever specific thing you're interested in then you have a collection of models which capture certain aspects of that for example the other day we we're just looking at how you can model things share prices using the log normal um, model or you could do it using mean reversion or you can do it using the non-negative one non-negative models so they, they all describe the same systems in different ways and there's the associated maths for each of them so we can have a similar picture with specifics put in so if you're talking about shares the typical model would be the log normal one and then the maths would be well stochastic calculus eto calculus maybe monte carlo those kind of topics are the relevant maths to implement the models